Do you want your own beautiful, gorgeous sex robot so you can do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it? Gosh, this video is going to be creepy AF as well as cool, but definitely creepy. So stick around for that. But that's apparently what's going to be happening in the future. A Terminator-like robot with human-like skin growing around the exoskeleton, I guess you could say. Think of David from Prometheus or those alien movies. Magneto 2.0 from those movies, right? Well, a robotic company, maybe not a robotic company, but a company nonetheless, have built skin to cover a robotic finger or any part of the robot. Wow. I mean, this is, mmm, mmm. It's creepy and it's creepy and it's cool, scary. I don't know how you feel about this, but look at that. I want to show you the video and I want to talk about the article. Guys, for you not aware, we're making videos here. Four videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, literally again, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, like that. Gosh, it's hard. Live free and prosper. There we go. There we go. I did it. I did it somehow. Anyway, I'll show you the video in a second, but revolutionary sweaty robot finger, which heals itself, mocked for looking like a sex toy. Woo! Get ready for the finger uh, in a second. I will show you the video. So anyway, when Arnold Schwarzenegger first ripped off his flesh to reveal a, you know, steely robotic skeleton in Terminator, movie fans thanked the lucky stars that it wasn't real. However, it all could be about to change thanks to an astonishing new research project. Now, researchers at the University of Tokyo have successfully grown living human skin on a robotic finger capable of even healing itself. Wow, what a time to be alive, eh? My goodness. So the soft, fleshy finger could be just the start of a new wave of robots which have human-like characteristics. Hang on, where's that picture again? Oh yeah. What do you want to do with your robot? Do you want it to be an absolute human-killing uh, android or do you want it to be a, uh, you know, a fembot? The choice could be yours, right, if you're a company. Uh, building these things at least. So a scientist behind the study, Professor, and we're going to spell his name because I'm going to butcher it if I don't. Shoji Takuchi. So, Shoji Takuchi said, I'm butchering his name, I'm sorry mate, our creation is not only soft like real skin, but it can repair itself if cut or damaged in some way. <sighs> creepy, cool, cool and creepy. He continued, so we imagine it could be useful in industries where in situ repairability is important as are human-like qualities, such as dystextery and light touch. I'm probably misspelling that, but okay. The researchers grew skin on the finger by, by combining collagen with human skin cells to make a bottom layer of skin. Then grew an epidermis the outermost layer of the skin. Just making sure I've got that one right. Epidermis. Epidermis, the outermost layer of the skin, until the robot finger had a sleeve of human skin living around it. The researchers even cut the finger with a knife and placed a collagen band-aid over the wound. Within a week, the skin had healed over it. And I know how I feel about this. This is, as I keep saying, Creepy, but kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Gosh. However, people have taken to Twitter to mock the invention. Finally, a sex robot that you can actually catch a real STT from. I mean, interesting. What about sex robots? Well, if you remember this guy from Alfie, Jude Law, he was in that AI movie. I can't remember the name, but it was a Steven Spielberg movie. Uh, sex robots. He was a sex robot, right? Sex robots are the latest hot tech trend, but it seems what's happening here, but it seems women's feelings on them differ to men. So basically to cut it short, men are kind of okay with having sex with a female robot, 
as long as it looks female-ish. But women are like, no. <laughs> I don't want that thing inside of my body. <laughs> uh, it, to be fair, in that movie with Jude Law, I mean, it might say it here. Oh, does it say it? I don't know. Male gigolo in AI. That's right. It was the AI movie. Uh, Steven Spielberg movie. Women seemed very happy to be with him because he was a robot, but he had skin like a real human being. And of course, being a sex robot, it, it, he, Jude Law, what's it all about? Alfie. He was in a movie called Alfie. Forget about that. But anyway, he had the ability to make a woman come in so many ways. Okay. So women seemed happy in that movie, but in real life, they're not quite happy about it. Now, one situation with this finger, I'm gonna give you guys the finger, is that it dries out over time because it, at the moment, it currently doesn't have the ability to have veins and blood vessels. I mean, these things that are in our body right here, right now, right here, right now, I'm doing that whole thing again. But anyway, you know, we all have veins and blood vessels running through our body which produce moisture and, and you know, feeds our skin. I'm, I don't know why I'm doing that, but all right. Hang on. This is getting really corny, but okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. But we all have blood vessels, right? Without the blood vessels, we it can't feed our skin, right? So a way to potentially use a blood vessel uh, vein situation, a, a way to, to grow veins is potentially using lightning bolts. Take a look at this thing. This is a glass tube, a glass, uh, square rectangle. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a piece of glass. Now on the very top is a bolt of lightning and it sends the lightning into this glass and it permanently keeps that lightning bolt in there forever. I mean, eventually the lightning strikes inside stop. Yes, no, the lightning inside stops, but th the end result it is, is these vein like structures. So that could be a way. I'm just trying to see what I've got here. That could be a way to create artificial veins using lightning. Okay, so here is a quick little video of this thing working now. Look, I have sped up the video a little bit and it is saying 10 millimeters on the bottom right hand corner, but uh, this is a robotic finger, which eventually should become a whole robotic body with probably at some point a robotic penis. But this is literally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewind that one more time. They're literally pulling the skin up with tweezers. Did you see that? They're pulling the skin up with tweezers. Gosh, that looks so strange. They're putting some water on this robotic finger with skin. I'm not sure why, but okay. Imagine being able to shake the hand of someone like, you know, of, of a robot with this kind of technology. I mean, it would feel natural. But the question is, would it feel natural if it was inside of you? <laughs> uh, mm, don't know how I feel about that, but there you go. Guys, you know me. I absolutely love the future and where the future is going. Uh, we talk about future things here pretty much almost every day. So if you haven't already, Give us a like and subscribe, all right? We're on two different channels. This one right now, number two. But of course, we also are on channel one where we do travel films around the world. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, at Tallboy Gareth. Give us a like and subscribe. Uh, let's do that thing again. That's probably more appropriate there, okay? Okay, quick question before we go. Let me know down in the comments below. Would you have sex with a female robot if you're a man? Or if you're a woman who's a lesbian? Or would you have sex with a male robot if you're a woman? Or a gay man? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm actually interested to see what you'd say. And let's just hope the military people of the world aren't going to be making a Terminator robot anytime soon. Because if they are, fuck us all, right? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.